What? Nothing. No, it's just uh, the way your brow furrows when you're thinking. It's cute. I mean, not if you're playing poker, then it'd be deadly, but otherwise. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. Why are you here? You don't care about the victim, so you aren't here for justice. You don't care that the guy's aping your book, so you aren't here because you're outraged. So what is it, Rick? Are you here to annoy me? I'm here for the story. The story? Why those people? Why those murders? Sometimes there is no story. Sometimes the guy is just a psychopath. <sighs> There's always a story. Always a chain of events makes everything make sense. Take you, for example. Under normal circumstances, you should not be here. Most smart, good-looking women become lawyers, not cops. And yet, here you are. Why? I don't know, Rick. You're the novelist, you tell me. Well, you're not bridge and tunnel. No trace of the boroughs when you talk, so that means Manhattan. That means money. You went to college, probably a pretty good one. You had options. Yeah, you had lots of options. Better options. More socially acceptable options. And you still chose this. That tells me something happened. Not to you. Now, you're wounded, but you're not that wounded. Now, it was somebody you cared about. It was someone you loved. And you probably couldn't live with that, but the person responsible was never caught. And that's Detective Beckett is why you're here. Cute trick. Don't think you know me. The point is, there's always a story. You just have to find it. 